Hello guys, this is your reading for the blood moon. You guys may be experiencing some tough energies during this time. So I just wanted to do a reading for you guys and I kind of grouped, you know, the water and the air, earth and fire together here. Okay, but I'm going to do each one of you separately. So we're going to get started with Pisces first. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's coming towards you guys that you may not realize, that you may not be aware of here. That may bring some challenging energy your way. All right, what's going on with my Pisces? Got a Knight of Cups here. Um, there may be somebody coming in to make an offer to you that mm, you really are not wanting. Somebody from the past. I feel or you guys may you may feel this overwhelming need to communicate with somebody just how you feel about them it's coming up okay most definitely if this is somebody that you you're not really wanting to come in um, they're a little leery about it but um, I think they're 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 wanting to though they're wanting to they're wanting to express something to you they may have this like they may come off very awkward because they may feel you know not that comfortable expressing it to you let's see how you can be proactive about this mm. i get that maybe a lot of you guys um A lot of you may be wanting to reach out to someone during this time period, but be careful of that um, because, you know, this is this this moon is going to bring up a lot of feelings and emotions that um, maybe you've kind of pushed down before previously. But um, I think there's a need for you to tame that. There's a need for you to tame that and um, approach this with a level head. Um, maybe wait even on, you know, addressing someone because it may come off. Um, it may come off in a way that is a little too much for the other person. There's a need to ground yourself. If you do make an approach, I I probably would not during this time period, not until the energy kind of settles down a little bit, because I don't think it's going to be received um, in the way that you mean for it to be received. If this is you guys offering something, if this is somebody coming towards you that's having second thoughts about doing it, um, but they are wanting to, they're going to be a little overzealous, but there's a need for you not to meet, to meet. I can't even talk. There's a need for you not to meet their overzealousness with the same approach there's a need for you to kind of take a step back maybe let them do most of the talking maybe not react um but respond you know just let them get off what their get off their chest what they need to get off of their chest without you actually like really fully engaging okay let's see what needs to be purged here hmm. the lovers jumped out here Um, the attachment that you're feeling. Some of you feel very strongly attached to someone. Um, there's a need to kind of take a step back from that. There's a need for you not to chase. If you guys have a runner... And I really don't say this often, but um, if you guys have a runner, leave them alone. 
leave them alone because they're they're dealing with with some emotions and they're going to continue to run is what it seems like further if you guys actually reach out during this time period um, because I think like these emotions are just maybe they're giving you a little bit maybe they're like um, maybe they texted you or something and kind of you know put that bait out there but don't jump on it don't jump on it hmm You guys got cards. Want to jump out everywhere here. Let's see what parts of your life should you advance on. Working on yourself. Work on yourself. Get your happy back. Um, work on what makes you happy. As a single individual right now. Um, not what. Not relying on somebody else to truly make you happy. Choose yourself during this time. Choose yourself during this time because here in purging, you see we have the lovers here. This is you choosing yourself or whichever one you are. Choose yourself right now. Do not run behind this person um, because I, I think that, you know, you, you'll probably end up, you know, more hurt than you already are if you try to reach out or engage with this person. Um, even if they text you, like I said, don't react. Respond if you want to, because you don't even have to. If they say hi, hi. But if they say hi, you know, and they haven't reached out to you in a while, don't go all in like you, you are so excited and you want, you think that you guys are going to get back or whatever. Because... Under the bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords here. They will disappear again. Okay. So this is a warning for somebody, if not several of you. If you have a runner, do not engage. Do not react. Respond only if you want to. Um, but don't take it as a sign that, you know, everything has changed. Okay. Because they still have some work to do, I feel. Let's see. And both of you guys, actually. Both of you. Let's see what, <clears throat> what you guys can do to evolve on the things that you have learned. How can oops, my Pisces evolve from the things that they've learned? Here. Get your confidence up. This is all about you, my Pisces. This is all. This is all about you guys feeling good um, within yourself, without anybody else. First and foremost, before you go for that tenth pinnacle and that tenth cup. Okay. This is getting you together. This is getting your finances together. This is getting your feelings in check. Getting grounded, getting stable, feel con feeling confident in the things that, that you do, you say, you go towards, your work, every aspect of your life. Just feeling good within yourself without involving anyone else because at this point I feel like engaging with this person is going to knock you down a few, a few pegs from the work that you've already been putting in, okay? What will come about as a result of this eclipse here from my Pisces? What will come about? You will get your balance. You will get your balance. But this is going to be this is going to be a challenge for you guys. This is going to be a challenge for you. To be sure of yourself, to get your balance, okay? Because you see right here, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little glare on the screen. Let's see if I can move it to where there's not a glare. There we go. See, there's water there. This is you guys. But there's a need to ground yourself here with these pinnacles. There's a need to get your balance. There's a need to not be overly emotional. There's a need to be sure of yourself. But you're going to feel very unsure during this time period, okay? Very unsure. 
But just hold strong, my friends, because this too shall pass, okay? You're going to feel very shaky. Okay, guys. So let's move on to... Ooh, I'm at 10 minutes here. Let's move on to my cancers. Let's see what cancer has coming towards them. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's coming towards my cancer that they may not know? My cancers. What does cancer need to know? Maybe some of you have been, um, you've been hiding behind some things that, um, Not so good, but you guys have been hurt. And I think, you know, you're just trying to get back on your feet. You're trying to be happy. You're trying to do things that make you happy. But some of those things are not good for you, whatever that is. Whatever that is, if it's, if it's drinking too much, it's not good for you. Because the issues are still there um, at the end of the day. So there's a need to address those issues so you truly can be happy and get your wish fulfillment. Hmm. There's a need for you to address some, some, some overindulgence here. Um, some addictions. My cancers. Whatever, whatever those addictions are for you, whatever, whatever it is that you're overdoing, whatever it is that you're hiding behind that, that is making you feel good in the moment, there's a need to address that, okay? So you can like genuinely be happy. Let's see what you can do to be proactive in this situation. Figure out what the true problems are. What are the issues here for you? What is it that you're thinking about that has you trapped? What is it that you're thinking about that has you wanting to um, engage in like over like drinking, um, drugs, overeating, emotional eating even? Um, what, what, what is it? What's underlying? Okay. Resolving those issues. Let's see what needs to be purged here. Hmm. The feeling that you can take care of this, handle this on your own. The feeling that um, how can I say this? You guys will definitely be successful. And you will definitely get out of this. But I think there is a need for some of you to enlist somebody else's help here. Purging the need to handle this situation on your own. Ask for help if you need it. Because this is you feeling like no matter what. I can do this on my own and you're using some of you, a lot of you are using vices to, to so-called handle this situation on your own. Okay. Let's see what parts of your life you can advance on. Working with other people here. Work with other people here. We have the Four of Pentacles. This is holding things to yourself, keeping things to yourself, not sharing, opening up. Open up to other people. And a lot of you, I know, because I'm like this. I have a hard time sharing with other people. Like when something's going on, I try to handle everything on my own. I know what that's like. I know what that's like. Learn to lean on other people when you need to. Okay. Let's see how, how you can evolve, evolve from the things that you have learned. Let's see what, what you can do to change certain things here. Use your intuition. Use your intuition. Do what you feel is right. Share. The high priestess holds things in. She does not speak. 
Um, sometimes she's secretive. Use your intuition, share, speak. If you need some help, say that. Say that, okay? Before it gets to a point where it's very hard to um, come back from, okay? Let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse. Hmm. I think a lot of you will purge and I think you will start to communicate the things that you actually need in your life, things that will, um, you know, help you to advance, things that will help you, you know, be successful here. I think you will. I definitely think you will. There's a, there's a need to communicate how you're feeling, my guys, and sharing, okay? Sharing what's bothering you. Sharing what's hurting you, okay? So that's what I have for my cancers. And let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What do my Scorpios need to know? Scorpios. There is something that you're hiding, my Scorpios, and you guys are notorious for doing this. Um, very um, mysterious. And I think a lot of you just, you know, it's just something that's in you. Very mysterious, very, very intuitive. Um, a lot of you very psychic. But I think, I think, you know, your shadow side is is going to want to reveal itself during this period. Um, very elusive, very, you know, knowing that you are keeping something from somebody or doing something that's making somebody think that something is going on, possibly. When it's not. Because I don't feel like it something is going on, but I think that maybe somebody is um, maybe somebody is being secretive with you, or they're not showing as much to you, and in turn, it's like I can do it too. You know, it's like yeah, okay. Let's see how you can be proactive during this period. Choose what it is that you want to do. You can choose your path. You can choose to, you know, play into this whole, you know, I can do it too thing. Or you can choose, you know, just to be who you are. Be who you are. Show your light side instead of your shadow side. It's going to be a challenge during this time, though, because... I think there probably is an Aries individual that may be, they're kind of giving you hot and cold and um, you're not taking too kindly to that. Not at all. Okay. Let's see what needs to be purged here. I think that the with the high priestess, like I said, there you, it's almost like you know this person is kind of giving you the impression that you know one minute they like you, maybe one minute they they are blowing cold, and there's a need for you to walk away from doing the same thing or having some get back or feeling like, you know, you throw in a towel um, because maybe things aren't as bad as how they are appearing during this period. Um, because if it isn't Aries that you're dealing with, then um, 
I think during this blood moon, um, Aries is one of the signs that is is going to be like heavily affected during this period. And so they may not be trying to behave blow hot and cold. Okay. So I think there's a need to really look at your own emotions and your feelings and see what is not working for you. Okay. Purging those, those negative feelings regarding the situation. The need to have some get back or, you know, do the same thing that you feel that they're doing to you. No get back, okay? <laughs> Let's see what parts of your life you can advance on. Hmm. Yeah, working with other people, working with this person, realizing that maybe there is something here substantial, significant that um, can be built upon. But you guys are going to have to work together, work through this energy, okay? Work through this energy. Take somebody else's feelings into account. Maybe they're going through something. I think this is also, you know, being accountable for yourself and your behavior, you know, with working with people. You know, everybody's not the same. Everybody does not handle situations the same, okay? Let's see how you can evolve from the things that you've learned here. How can my Scorpios evolve? Do what you feel is right. Do what you feel is right in your heart. You may have Libra in your chart as well. This person may um, be like Aries, Pisces, Cusp, but it um, does not have to be those signs, but <clears throat> it's just the energy I see present here. But do what you know is right. Okay? Not what you feel like is going to make you feel better towards this person in the meantime. But honestly, you know, do what you feel like you would want somebody to do for you here. Okay? And let's see what will come about as a result of this. I saw the lovers under there. Bear, as a result of this full moon eclipse. This eclipse, I'm sorry. Excuse me. What will come about as a result of this eclipse? Success. <laughs> I think you guys, if, if you guys, you know, just follow what you feel is right, I think you and the person that you're thinking about, this will be a successful relationship. If this is a relationship, this will be a successful one, I do feel. And not only that, you guys will feel good. You will feel you will feel like um better after this this eclipse. If you don't play into, you know, that that shadow energy and do what you feel is right, this will be successful. You will be successful. All right. So my Scorpio friends, that's what I have for you guys. And I will speak with you soon. Bye.